챕터 47 모던 글로벌 트랜스포메이션즈 테크놀로지 The first modern computers weighed around 30 tons They were huge and only a few players had them But in the 1940s, these computers changed the way business were run They took only a second to do what might have taken days to do by hand Countries around the world had to adopt new technology to stay up to spend in the global economy. Even in the average home, computers became incredibly important. Regular people started getting online in the 1980s. At home, computers became more popular with the internet revolution in the 1990s. It changed the way people communicate now that they could communicate with anyone, anywhere, at any time in second. People, letter, shouting, mandarin, phone, hello, faxes, after, texting, cap, slap, didn't you see my text, email, social media. <coughs> Another important event, invention of the 20th century was television, which became popular in the U.S. after World War II. Network began broadcasting an nightly news segment, and the television quickly replaced the radio as a major news source. The Internet is now a major news source, including sites run by television networks. Awesome. Very good. <clears throat> the US and USSR were also locked in, locked in a space race. The starting when the Soviet Union launched the first artificial satellite, Sputnik, in 1957. The next year, the US launched the satellite and founded the national uh, aerostics and Space Administration, NASA. The space race uh, led to a focus on math and science in an American school. In April 1961, uh, Yuri Gagarin of the USSR became the first person to orbit the Earth. Due to U.S.'s Neil Armstrong and Edwin Burge uh, Adrian were the first people to walk on the moon. On July 20, 1969, during the Apollo project. <clears throat> Since then, humans have sent machines into space to explore Mars and other planets. Uh, robots, robots have traveled to the Sun to comet, the asteroid, and fast the edge of the solar system, Mars rover. The environment. Human made a lot of technological advance in the 20th century, but they also made some pretty big mistakes. Cities grew too fast and too big. Factories and the desire for expensive products like cars and phones led us to neglect something very important, Mother Nature. We've overused the land and soil, uh, leading to uh, Desertification. We've cleared the forest, deforestation, to build houses and factories. Our factories have poured harmful chemicals into our air, creating smoky skyline, exit rain, and climate change. Desertification. Desertification. The depletion of plant and topsoil in semi-arid land, causing them to become desert. Uh, open a byproduct of population growth. Exit rain. Precipitation such as rain or snow, which high level of acid forming chemical releasing in the air by the factories and motor vehicles. Deforestation has uh, hit tropical rain forest where 50% of the world species of plant and animal live. Rainforests are sometimes called the lungs of the planet. They are crucial to our survival because they remove carbon dioxide from the air 
and provide us with oxygen to breathe. The greenhouse effect is the warming of the earth due to carbon dioxide buildup in the atmosphere. The greenhouse effect contributes to global warming, which doesn't mean the every year is hotter or at the same time. Global warming. The increase in the overall temperature of the Earth's atmosphere due to the greenhouse effect. <coughs> It's a part of overall climate change and can contribute to rising sea level, the melting of polar ice caps and severe drought and storm. Climate change can cause famine and crops can't grow, grow and in turn make regions of the planet in liable. And it can even completely put inhabited island. Some people consider climate change to be the most important issue currently facing humans, even bigger than war and political disagreement of history, because it affects the future eh, liability of the entire planet. Sustainable, sustainable development it is a development that meets our needs while also allowing us to conserve natural resources. Uh, through recycling, water conservation, and other programs to reduce waste and the dumping of toxic materials. In 2010, nearly 200 nations made the promise to reduce carbon emission when they signed an international agreement called on Kyoto, Tropical, Kyoto Protocol. The U.S. It produced a lot of carbon dioxide, carbon emission, didn't ratify this important thread. Huh. The U.S. didn't ratify this important thread. Huh. However, in 2015, the United Nations Conference on Climate Change, also known as the COP21 or the CMP11, was held in Paris, France. The 195 participating countries, including the U.S., agreed to reduce greenhouse gases the goal is to keep global warming this country to less than 2 degrees Celsius. Today's global uh, interdependence. With today's technological advance in communication, nations and communities are more closely connected than ever before. This has led to people and nations becoming more interdependent, relying on each other relying on each other. On a global economy, multinational cooperation to business throughout the world. Globalization is the process of making something worldwide or global. There are advantages to being so connected. Organizations from different countries can work together to solve major issues like poverty, climate change, terrorism, and nuclear proliferation. Chain of restaurants that is the US and Australia and Russia and everywhere else is a sign of globalization. Ja. Proliferation, rapid spread or growth. <coughs> Aside from the UN, other organizations have developed in the era of global interdependence such as the World Trade Organization, WTO. WTO had formed in 1995 to increase trade by setting rules for international trade and to address other issues affecting the global economy. The creation of the European Union, EU, in 1993 established a common currency, the Euro, across European member nations. Uh, stemming from the European Community EU issue, this economic union was created to strengthen the economies to member nations and encourage trade and travel. Travel between member nations doesn't require a passport, and a person from Spain, person, a person from Spain who wants to move to France can work or study there without a visa. <coughs> 